Understanding, Dealing with Grief, a Guide for English Learners. Hello everyone, and welcome to today's video. In this session, we are going to explore the meaning and usage of the phrase, dealing with grief. This is a significant topic as it touches upon human emotions and experiences. So, let's dive in and understand this phrase in depth to enhance your English language skills. Grief is a deep sorrow, especially caused by someone's death. When we talk about dealing with grief, we are referring to the process of experiencing and managing this deep emotional response. This phrase encompasses a range of emotions and actions, from feeling sad and crying to seeking support and remembering the deceased. It's important to understand that grief is a very personal experience and can vary greatly from person to person. One widely accepted concept is the five stages of grief, developed by Elizabeth Kubler-Ross. These stages are 1. Denial, refusing to believe the loss is real. 2. Anger, feeling frustrated and helpless. 3. Bargaining, making deals or promises, often to a higher power, in hopes of reversing the loss. 4. Depression, deep sadness and a sense of loss. 5. Acceptance, coming to terms with the loss. Understanding these stages helps in recognizing that grief is a process that takes time and is not linear. People may move back and forth between stages or experience them in a different order. In English, there are several expressions related to grief that you might hear or use. For example, in mourning, this means someone is in a period of grief after a death. Heartbroken, feeling extreme sadness. Loss of a loved one refers to the death of someone close. These expressions help convey the emotional state of a person dealing with grief. Grief is experienced and expressed differently across cultures. In some cultures, it's common to openly show emotions, while in others, people might grieve more privately. Understanding these cultural differences is crucial for effective communication, especially when offering condolences or support to someone who is grieving. I hope this video has given you a clear understanding of what it means to be dealing with grief and the various aspects associated with it. Remember, grief is a deeply personal and complex emotion and there's no right or wrong way to experience it. If you found this video helpful, please share it with others who might benefit from it. Stay tuned for more insightful videos on English language learning. Take care, and see you next time.